So Richard, can you tell us about the wider work of the Premier League enterprise and this challenge in particular? Yeah, we've been doing this for some time now, since 2008, where we set a challenge to a group of young people. They work with clubs, the local clubs, on this challenge. It is a business challenge. And then eventually the clubs, win, these young people in their teams, win through and they get here to the finals in London where somebody has to win. We've started out 26 schools, uh, clubs this year. I think it was at least 10 schools per club, at least 3,000 young people involved. And as I say, the winners are here and uh, it's been a fantastic, yet yeah, again, another fantastic challenge. And the Premier League's obviously wildly popular all over the world. Um, there's maybe a perception that there's not enough young families getting into the ground these days. What have we done about that? Now that might be your perception. Um, actually, the women uh, the women attendees are now uh, bigger than ever. We're now up to something like 23% of women. Young people, season tickets, under 16s, it's an all-time high number. So I think it's a little bit apocryphal, this idea that everybody used to, all these young people used to go with their dads to matches and get handed down to the front of the grounds to be, you know, stood at the front. Actually, there's more women and more young people and therefore more families, far more families involved in football now than there ever was. And does business have a big responsibility to play in the local community? Yeah, of course. I mean, Premier League clubs do more than just about any other business that uh, anybody could name in terms of their local communities. The clubs are rooted in their communities. They've got big community schemes um, in, involved in things like enterprise, but on a wider scale, education, health, fitness, crime reduction programmes, fantastic range of programmes involving you know, something like 600,000 young people um, last year in local communities just in the Premier League alone and the Premier League itself funds or, um, operations through the Football League, down through the Football Conference, so football does a huge amount in its community to, uh, to use the power that it's got really to do some good.